So let's, let's go to the geometry. What's there? What's beyond linear? How can you study a curve and understand it better <coughs> beyond the tangent line? Is tangent line the only thing you can imagine geometrically? What will be the next thing? How to describe the curve better? The rate of change of the tangent line. Rate of change of tangent line. And how do you think about it geometrically? Hmm? So, so what's what's the what's the rate of change of this tangent line? How to see it? Because in geometry, I want to see things. Right? The data given is a geometric picture, no formula, no numbers. And they can immediately draw a tangent line, right? And that's very geometric. What else can they do? Well, see, basically, in order to do at least something, you need supply of well-studied objects. Because if the only objects you understood so far geometrically were lines and all the other curves are equally complicated for you and you either know it is a line or you know it's not a line well then there is no second step for you anything beyond line is going to be as complicated as any curve and you are stuck right? so there is no improvement unless you go and study all the curves simultaneously and you know there are too many of them so and studying constant acceleration motion is not studying any motion right constant acceleration motions are very simple motions they are more complicated than constant velocity motions but less complicated than so doing this, you bite pieces of all the motions. So can we bite a piece of curves? Do we know some good curves? Do you know any good curves beyond lines? Parabola. Parabola? What do you know about parabola? Geometrically. Symmetrical, yes. So, parabola. All right. Well, then, if you know parabolas, you should probably approximate this curve by a parabola. Can you? Does it look like a parabola at this point? Well, of course, parabola can know cannot have waves like this, right? Now, what if I do this? Does it look like parabola? It does, already. Well, that's a problem, you know. An arbitrary curve doesn't look like a line at any point. Right? Even if I take a very small piece of the curve, it's still not a line. And I can clearly approximate it by a line and see the difference. And now, as I take a small piece of a curve, well, relatively small, it's still a long piece, we cannot visually recognize if it is parabola or not. Well, that's a problem. That means that geometrically, visually, we don't have a clear distinction between parabolas and all the other curves. Right. Yes, we hope that parabolas can be better understood. And then we can try to study other curves. But we cannot even distinguish them. That's a problem. Is there anything else other than parabola? 
circles, ellipses. Circles. Circles. Small circles, large circles. Does it look like a circle? So it's almost, right? So if you were to approximate that by a circle, would it be this circle or that circle? Would it be that small? Would it be that large? Well, you see, you already have opinion about it. Because previously you told me that this is already a parabola, period, right? So now you have opinion about, well, it should be bigger than this, smaller than that. So that means that, first of all, you have some experience about circles. You can distinguish them from other curves. And moreover, you can approximate any given curve by a circle. Well, it's probably hard to do it exactly, but to some extent, yes. So is that going to be the next step? What else do you know, if not circles? Well, ellipse is more advanced and complicated than circle. So, so then circle should be the next step, unless you tell me something else. Is there any other curve or type of curves that you know? Seriously doubt that you know hyperbolas. For some reason, I, I, I doubt that. Okay, so if you study circles as the next step from geometric point of view, let's go to algebra. <laughs> 